So Polly Malignaggi is so upset and offended over images being leaked of his sparring session with Conor McGregor that he's leaving camp is over? We worked up a little something for Polly. Then we're going to talk about it. But check this out. Five seconds. Polly, why you mad? Polly, what you mad for? Polly, why you mad? What you mad for? Polly, why you mad? What you really mad for? Polly, why you so mad? Ow! <laughs> What's up, people? It's your boy, Eric, and you are back here live with me for another episode of the Amazing Eric Sports Show. You heard the title. Today, we're going to talk about Pauli Malignaggi. Some say he rage quit, getting upset, leaving the camp. He's done with sparring with Conor McGregor. We got to talk about it. But first, we want to say this. If you haven't subscribed yet, stop tripping, man. Get in that box. Go to the box down at your right. Click subscribe. Hit the bell icon, and you can be notified whenever your boy drops another the video do it it's that simple hit the bell icon okay 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 let's get this started now some say i do this too much but i feel it's needed i'm gonna do it again right here in no way is the video that we're gonna make meant to be disrespectful to our poly malignaggi or conor mcgregor we respect fighters here at the amazing eric sports show we respect the fighters we respect the champ poly malignaggi two-time champ we respect the great mma fighter who's crossing over to boxing conor mcgregor to fight one of the best ever floyd we respect them so in no ways are the following jokes anything we say meant to be disrespectful. It's just sports, baby. Okay, now that we got that out the way, let's get it in, y'all. Multiple sources, this has been everywhere. I heard this on Fight Height, but it's been all over the place. Pauli Malignaggi has taken to Twitter to vent his frustration, to let us know how upset he is, and to let us know that the images don't provide the right lens or look into what happened in sparring. He's so upset, he said, I'm out and I'm done. And what we want to do really quick, we're going to start with what we like about what Pauly said and what we agree and how a person can see this from Pauly's point of view. Let's look at these pictures though. Let's go back and start and let's look at these pictures and let's see what Pauly's talking about here. All right, let's pull up the first one. So if you look at this first picture right here, Pauly's got a point. All these images have been making Pauly look bad. Look at this. His knees look all locked up. You know, it looks like he's just making a noise. Can't you hear this noise like, eh? Eh, 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 eh. Like he's struggling, like his back is hurting. He kind of looks decrepit in this shot. Eh, eh. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all know that's how it looks. Eh. Anyway, let's pull up the next shot. I feel Polly on this one. Here's the next one. Okay, this one. We see here on this next one. Look, Connor's all vibrant and athletic, jumping all off the ground like I just can't wait to punch you in the face. Now they got Paulie with no shirt on. The angle they have him at, he has the old man back working. Come on, man. Looks like he has a phone strap. What is that on his waist? I mean, what's really going on? So we're looking at this one, and I can see why Polly would be upset over this one. It's, it's flattering to Connor. It's not flattering to Polly. And now it brings us to the final pick that just was released. Polly's on the ground, man. What, I mean, what's really going on? What's really happening in these spar sessions? Polly's on the ground. So when Polly saw this one, it looks like Polly was like, forget this, I'm out. Paulie is from the old school. He's not that old, but he's from the old school of boxing. He's a Brooklyn fighter. Paulie is from the school of thought that what happens in sparring stays in sparring. If it happened there in sparring, nobody on the outside needs to know. No pictures, no talk about it. As mad as Paulie is right now, he says he still won't discuss the game plan. Paulie has a point here if you look at it from the old school of boxing. Don't talk about sparring like that. Let's just get work in. He came over to help Connor, and Connor and his team to me are trying to make it like they're beating up Polly and sparring. That's what it looks like to me. So Polly's upset about that. Okay, that's Polly's side of that. Now let's flip the coin. You know how we do it here. We got to look at both sides of the coin, man. All right, on the other side of this, first thing we want to say is, has anybody seen any pictures of Connor's face? Because we haven't seen pictures of Connor's face. We've only seen Polly's pictures. And I'm just being real. Your man Polly looks busted up, yo. Eyes look swole, lips are bruised. This looks like some rough spar for Polly. Now, we do know if you know boxing that bruises on the face don't necessarily tell a story of what happened. 
But in the real, Connor was doing something to Polly. And if you look at it from Connor's point of view, Polly talked a lot of cash noise about Connor leading up to this. Polly said he could knock him out easy. He not not Floyd. Polly said he himself could knock him out easy. He would play with him for a few rounds, then he would knock him out. So Connor wanted to show Polly and the boxing world. I think this was the plan all along. You know how Connor is. If you say something about Connor, he's like Santa Claus. He's making a list and he's checking it twice. That's right, Connor. Claus. He's making that list and he's checking it twice. Connor remembers everything everybody says about him. He was even talking trash right before the sparring started. He said, Paulie's gonna have to make right what he says. So we knew Connor was gonna go hard like this. That shouldn't be a shock. And Paulie, on the other hand, if you talked it and you didn't back it up, I'm not saying you didn't back it up. I know Paulie's saying he beat him up and he whooped his A. So coming from Connor's point of view, if you talked it and it happened, I want the world to know. Now, another thing that Connor could be feeling, now I've been through this myself with when you when you compete against a guy who's older than you, when you're the younger guy. Now, some of us have been younger and we've grown older, so maybe we've been both guys. Same thing in basketball. You can be giving it to, oh, you know, the old school dude at the court. What's up, young buck? What's up? Come on, blood. Let's do it. Let's do it. And he starts banging with you really early, playing you really physical, really physical. And as the game starts wearing on, you start hearing him. Uh, uh, uh. After the first game is over, you ready to run it back because you know you got him now. And what does he do? Man, forget y'all. I got to go. Man, I got to get up out of here. You young bucks ain't nothing. Y'all don't respect the game like you used to. I'm gone. And he gets his stuff and he leaves. Some people think this is what Pauly is doing. Some people think Pauly has admitted that it was 12 rough rounds and now he's just getting his stuff and he's leaving. I don't know that to be true. The question is, what do you think? What do you guys think about this? Get in the comment section and tell me what you think. All right, guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer again. And it's your boy, Amazing Eric. As I always say, people, live, laugh, love. It's so much easier than being mad all the time. Don't take things too serious, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.